hello friends welcome back now let's start work on database so first we will start from user registration part so for that we need a re registration table in our mysql database so now i'm going to create mysql uh, user table right so just visit your local host php my admin and in the last video we uh, not last video i think in the second video we have already created our database and we already gained access right start okay our php my admin is ready and our database is also ready where is okay it's project and yeah so this is our database and uh, i'm going to create a table called user and number of columns i think six create and first will be user id uh, user a name and email password and uh, uh, I think I need to increase the size that's okay ID username email password and uh, and uh, register date and no, not first uh, user type what kind of user user type and uh, register date okay add two more columns okay then last login and uh, notes for verification and other purposes we will store a random key so type will be var care and length thing 255 as well last login type will be date and uh, we don't need to specify length right automatically detected right and uh, registered it also date user type uh, user type uh, Okay, it is uh, it can be where care is good and text is also good it is not more than 15 or I think there are two types of user admin and other right so enumerated data type is also good okay edit so how we can specify admin and other admin and other right and password back care 300 and uh, this is also where care email 255 is good username where care and uh, length will be 255 inch 11 so we need a primary key for id so i'm going to create a primary key id so our id will be primary key and this key will be auto incremented so i'm going to take this ai auto incremented and uh, okay it's fine and let's save it yep our of table is created id username email password user type register date last login and notes okay and we can also get sql query all kinds of such as insert simple queries select but uh, i'm going to create a class here in our includes folder a new file let's save it as user.php and let's say class sorry uh, increase the font size 
php class user class for count creation and login purpose and there are so many things account verification and other things so we have uh, another instance we don't require and name it as user and constructor we don't need anything in parameter and and we need to include include underscore once sorry so in our database folder we have uh, we have to first uh, go back from this folder of a one dot and look for another folder the lot and here i'm going to write here database database and uh, the file name is db.php okay create a private variable private dollar connection and uh, specify this variable with the uh, connection do you remember the database and uh, we have db and we have database class okay and we have connect uh, function right and this will return connection so just uh, go back to the includes call the dollar db equals to new sorry database so our database object is created now dollar db arrow connect so connect function is called and this will return connection object so this is specified right and this is done now let's create the user object dollar object equals to new user the first constructor will be called and let's see if dollar this arrow connection is true then we will say echo connected Okay, this page is user.php inside includes includes user.php so it's connected it's fine now remove this code and uh, create a user account right so this is okay but uh, now we will have public function this function will, will be going to call from outside of this class so that's why I'm writing it as public function create user account and what we need we need a user name dollar email dollar password i think font size is very large okay it's well good so email password and what we need mm, user type user type okay it's fine and uh, to protect your to protect your application from sql attack you can use prepared statement so let's let me write it dollar pre statement prepared statement in short pre underscore statement equals to dollar and we have a connection variable right so dollar to access the variable of this class we will have we will have to use this uh, this and uh, sorry connection arrow prepare function uh, sorry method right prepare and we will, we will have to write the SQL query here so select sorry it's a uh, uh, it's insert right and uh, before that uh, we will have to check 
maybe the user is going to register he is already a registered user so we'll have to check email the email is already exist or not so it's private we cannot call this method from outside of this class private function sorry and uh, email exist right and uh, email exist and uh, dollar okay we need a parameter dollar email follow this arrow connection arrow prepare select id from uh, name of the table is user uh, select id from user where email equals to the most important thing is don't put your variable in the sql query right so this in this way we can protect from sql attack so select id from user where email equals to something and store it in a dollar this arrow sorry sorry sorry, sorry. it's pre statement pre statement equals to okay connection prepare and dollar prepare statement arrow bind underscore parameter so now we can uh, we will replace this question mark with the variable so for that i'm going to specify the type string type and uh, the variable is dollar email right email and uh, okay so let's check the count we have to count it pre statement arrow uh, before that we have to execute the sql statement so we will use execute method it's very easy you can easily remember with the uh, in a pairwise manner so after uh, first of all we need to write sql then we have to add parameters then we will have to execute right and here we can check if our query is wrong type dollar this arrow connection arrow error if any problem in a query this will tell us this die function will tell us what is the what is wrong in the query no dollar pre statement arrow sorry and uh, how we can get the result so to get the result we will have to use a function called uh, get result get underscore result and store it in our result variable okay if dollar result equal to equals to one or it's uh, greater than zero means uh, the user is already registered so we will return one in case of user already um, registered else we will return zero means user is not registered right we can also return true or false constants so this function will tell us user is already registered or not and after that we can say